the record, man. Uh, how do you think you guys are coming out? How do you think it's coming out so far? Uh, incredible, actually. Uh, it's coming along a lot quicker than I thought it would be, and uh, the tones on it are uh, really great. The sound of it's just really powerful. There's a lot of thickness to it. There's a lot of layers to it. I think it's a really good progression from what we've been doing, too. Um, it's not too much different in a general sense of music, but it's definitely more than what we've done before. So I'm really excited about it, really excited to play these songs live. I'm really happy with the progress we're making right now. Um, at this point, I've started tracking vocals, and uh, we're a little bit less than halfway through that, but uh, we're making good progress on it. I just got to keep coming back and laying it down. I tend to lose my voice pretty quickly. Yogi T Throat Comfort comes in a Fender Stratocaster mug. Courtesy of Machine Shop. <laughs> really cool. We didn't use any strats on our uh, on our record. But aside from that, it's going well. I'm pretty happy with the sound of my voice on this record. It's got a lot more texture and dynamics than it did on uh, the American Violence EP. Still a really heavy record. We're still a heavy hardcore band. That's the essence of what we do isn't lost on this at all. But there's a lot of there's a lot more melody to it. There's a lot more layers to it. There's a lot more complexity to the songwriting. I think the songwriting has really evolved. It's less straightforward, but not to the point where you would say this isn't a hardcore record, or you would say this isn't a Reign Supreme record. And with this record, we just basically wanted it to be a, a, a solid mixture of the rhythms and leads. Um, as far as the rhythm tracks go, we wanted them to be really heavy, like metallic, almost have like a, uh, I don't want to say thrash, because it's not it at all, hmm. but um, have a very, very heavy presence to them and just really, really lay out a thick wall of sound um, with the lead tracks we're kind of going for something that just sort of makes those stand out in contrast against that yeah. um, and I feel like you know we definitely achieved that with the record I'm pretty happy with it Will definitely knows what he's doing yeah we really nailed it conceptually everything we wanted to do for the record drum sounds guitar sounds everything was supposed to be epic larger than life and with slightly original vintagey hints here and there and it's just cool as shit man <laughs> Oh God, oh Master! Destroy what I'm in the face of defeat! The Celestia! Show the drummer? Six? It's pretty good, actually. It's not like great. You can, like, carry it. Yeah, I mean, you can carry the team, Jeff? Yeah, sure. Pretty good singer. Total retard. Pretty good singer. <laughs> what kind of equipment are you using? Um, well, we used a couple different guitars. Uh, we used an ESP Eclipse, uh, my BC Rich Mockingbird, um, SG. Gibson SG Standard. So we used a lot of different effects, too. Um, some cool stuff, just like delays and Holy different Grail reverb pedals. Reverb. Yeah, Holy Grail Reverb. About seven different Boss TU2s because they all broke every time we tried, <laughs> <laughs> tried to tune with them. Yeah. The equipment's good. My equipment is good. I don't know. It's awesome. The amp, you know, we use a bunch of different amps and guitars and cabs and this and that and it was just really more in the performance I guess. Studio Magic is what it is and these dudes just stepped it up and we put together a pretty heavy record. What are your more broader influences as in the, you know other artists and other music you listen to on this record? Um there's been a lot like I think for this record um when it started, I was listening to a lot of the same stuff I've always listened to. Um, you know, you're like Sepultura, Pantera, Machine Head. But um, as it sort of evolved, I've kind of been listening to it, and I realized where I got, like, the ideas for certain parts. And it's been a lot of different stuff, too. Um, Converge and Hope Conspiracy have been a pretty big factor uh, on the songwriting on this record. Um, different kind of stuff, too, like Entombed, uh, the record Uprising, has been really important. This band called The Twilight Singers that my friend Andrew got me into, who actually sings on the record, by the way, so you should... Check that out, a song called Slipping Away. And um, I listen to that a lot. And, you know, I listen to a lot of different, like, weird stuff, like Portishead, Mazzy Star. I think it's important to realize that, like, even though we're definitely, like, a, a pretty, I'll say even generic hardcore band, like, there's a lot of different influences on us. And I think that's what's really exciting about this record is that it's been an opportunity to not only just play heavy hardcore, but to also let a little bit more of who we are as musicians shine. And that's been really cool. Yeah. Fine. Name me one band where the singer starts the record. <laughs> Start off this record. Oh no. Warren, how would you start a Rain Supreme record? 
How would I start it? Yeah, if you had to, if you had to think of an intro for Rain Supreme, what do you hear? How would you start it? How would I start it? Yeah. I think it needs to be some kind of big ass swell with like a huge ass scream that just like. Whoa. Where anyway. you did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then, never mind. I don't know what we're gonna do. Um. Hi, for Rain Supreme. We would like you to check out our hardcore screaming and performing of instrumentation. Because we are a really heavy band, so the only alternative it seems is to do a simple thing. Okay, well, if there was going to be an intro, what would it be? If there had to be one. I don't know. And we tried our very best this time around, and here we go. Nothing? I, 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 would, I would think it would be, have to be... I, I, I would rather have it just hit right on the one. It just needs to be the heaviest riff ever, just to start it. What? I don't know what to do. We did say we would go at whatever Warren said, so. Five, six, seven, eight. What do you think of that? Yeah. 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 You wanna see what they think? No, what? You wanna tell them, see what they think? <laughs> no, no. Alright. Give me a book. You want a tie? Ooh, I think I want Malaysian. Okay, man, so how do you think the record is going so far? Uh, I think it's coming out incredible, actually. Uh... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Vergara has pooped in a box. He one time pooped outside a venue in Vermont, scooped it into a brown paper bag in an attempt to make me throw up in the van by sticking it in my face. Other people have to use that when we're done. <laughs> wow! Rain Supreme, testing the limits of infinite. It's coming. Winter tour, full blown chaos, trapped under ice.